RTV6 is working for you, finding out more about an initiative on the west side that is aiming to provide hope and a place for people to heal. The focus is on those experiencing homelessness. Tonight, our Nicole Griffin is finding out how one group wants to help those who are ready to live a more stable life. A tiny house community is being planned on the city's west side. Those behind the project want it to be a safe place for people transitioning out of homelessness. When they're ready to make that step towards a better life, we can help them. The plan is to build 28 tiny homes at 1318 South Lindhurst Drive. We'll build initially 14. So they will have a bathroom, shower, sleeping area. That would be their home. Homelessness is an issue that impacts hundreds of people in Marion County. The IU Public Policy Institute takes a point in time survey each year on January 30th. The 2019 numbers show 1,500 people were experiencing homelessness. 66% of those people stayed in emergency shelters. One of those people was Debbie Parrish's brother, Larry Hatfield. When the coroner called me, it just I couldn't believe it. Hatfield got sick, lost his job, and was experiencing homelessness. He just passed away on October 26th. If he had had an opportunity like the tiny villages where he could get the help getting his disability, get the help nutrition-wise, I think he would still be alive. With Circle City Village being planned for a residential area, there have been some concerns brought up about how the tiny houses will impact the property values in this area and the safety. We've done a lot of research with locations where they have now multiple tiny house villages. We found that things like property values are not negatively affected by it. Safety, you have a controlled environment, 24-7 security. In order to stay at Circle City Village, each person will have to apply complete a 30-day probation period and a background check. Working for you on the west side, Nicole Griffin, RTV6. Leaders are hoping to break ground on Circle City Village this summer. They are still dealing with zoning now that they have the land and their 501c3 status. The project will be paid for through private donations.